Hey everybody, Tom Ballater here with a walkthrough for problem number two in PSET 4. This is a really easy one. I think it's a total of like four lines of code, so you'll be done with this very quickly. The one thing you do have to do, and first I assume that you've read the specification of course, but this majority of this problem consists of learning how to read code. So what they really want you to do in this problem is to look at the Python that you've been given, this ps4a.py file, and inside there, there are two functions that are of interest in terms of just reading through and understanding. First of all, display hand, and then deal hand. So what you should do is look at this doc string for display hand and then see how it has been implemented. You'll get some ideas about using dictionaries, which you probably have from previous P sets, uh, from, the, from the midterm itself, but it's good to see these again in someone else's code. Uh, and then deal hand. So read this and then um, also read the code. Now, why are you doing that? I think there's two main reasons. One is to see techniques that you might not be familiar with that you might want to put in your toolbox. And the second thing is to understand how these two functions and all the functions you're gonna be writing in this Scrabble framework sort of fit together. Cause that's really the challenge of this problem is to how to figure out how to get things to work together. Now let's look at the function itself here, update hand. What are we supposed to be doing here? It assumes that the hand has all the letters in word. That's a great assumption. So there's gonna be a word that's being guessed by the player. There's also a hand that's been dealt by the computer. For every letter in that word, you're supposed to remove a letter from the dictionary. And the great thing about this is that all those letters are in the dictionary by assumption. So you don't have to worry about going to a dictionary and not finding one of those letters, i.e. a bad guess on the part of the player. That won't be happening. But in this case, what do we do here? Updates the hand, uses up the letters in a given word and returns a new hand without those letters in it. Now returns a new hand. This is a key point here. It has no side effects and does not modify the hand. So we've got a hand, which is a dictionary, and then we'll be returning a new copy of that minus the letters that are in the word. That's it. Let's get coding, okay? Let's take out this uh, comment right here and let's think of some pseudocode for that. Well, the first thing you wanna do, of course, is make a copy of the hand, right? So make a copy of the hand. Now, how do you make a, sorry about that. How do you make a copy of the hand? Let's take a look at the specification and you'll see there's this really nice advice right here about copying dictionaries. You can use the dot copy method. So that's pretty easy. You wanna go right here and use dot copy. So you'll somehow um, use that to make a copy of the hand. Now, what do you wanna do? You've got that copy. For each letter in the hand, or excuse me, for each letter in the word, you wanna remove or decrement that value of a letter in the hand. So for each letter in the word, decrement the value of that letter in the copy of the dictionary. Okay, so that's pretty much what you do in this problem. And when you're done with that, you just gotta return the result. And that is it.